Hi everyone, in this uh, lecture we will go through one very important reaction which is esterification. Right? Esterification we have uh, studied before in one of the lectures also uh, when we studied uh, reactions of carboxylic acid where OH group is involved. Right? So in this reaction OH group of carboxylic acid would be involved. Right? So basically esterification reaction is the reactions where esters are formed and how esters are formed by the action of carboxylic acid with alcohols or phenols right in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or dry HCl gas right so esterification is formation of esters right and how formation of esters take place by reaction of acid and alcohol for example you have CH3COOH plus OH C2H5 concentrated sulfuric acid or dry HCl gas right it will form OH of carboxylic acid right let's write it like this HO and hydrogen of alcohol will react to form ethyl acetate right plus water right this is this reaction is reversible reaction I put a reversible sign right and since we are making ester so this reaction can be shifted towards product side that is towards right by that is if we shift the reaction towards right side that is in this direction in the forward direction it will lead to increased um, uh, formation of ester right so reaction can be made to go in the forward direction by two things either you take this alcohol in excess or you remove water from it once this water is removed because when we say reversible reaction the backward reaction will take place when ester will react with water Right, so either you remove water so that backward reaction does not take place or you take excess of alcohol so that forward reaction will take place at a faster rate. Right? So rate of forward reaction can be increased by, by taking alcohol in excess or by removing water right if you remove water the reversible reaction would be prevented right because reversible sorry uh, if you take water the backward reaction would be prevented because backward reaction is taking place when water reacts with ethyl acetate right so when you remove water backward reaction will not take place or you take this alcohol in excess so that forward reaction will take place now we will understand look at the mechanism of this reaction right mechanism of esterification where we will look into each and every step how this reaction lead to the formation of an ester right so now in the mechanism we'll see where this acid catalyst is playing its part so mechanism right in the mechanism your sulfuric acid Right, will ionize to form proton and HSO4 minus. Right, so first step would be protonation of carboxylic acid CH3. Right, so protonation of carboxylic acid will take place to form OH plus. This plus sign will come from this proton. OH right now this has become positive right due to this proton now in the second step this alcohol molecule which is a nucleophile will attack this carbonate right the second so second step would be attack of alcohol right which is your OH Right? It has lone pair of electron, that is why it is nucleophile. Right? 
So here your CH3 right? this would be attacked by C2H5 right and what it will form it will form a tetrahedral intermediate right when this alcohol when this alcohol will attack the protonated acid it will form an intermediate right i'm sorry here you have a here you have a double bond right here you have a double bond sorry i missed this double bond here you have a double bond so here now when this will attack when this nucleophile will attack this carbon the alcohol will attack this carbon it will form like this right this is your tetrahedral intermediate and we know that tetrahedral intermediates are unstable right so what will happen is this proton will shift here right and it will form a better leaving group let's see how when this proton will come here it will form oh2 or let's write it like this it will form O H H right and since this is is now O H two or H two O this is a better leaving group so it will leave right i hope till this point it is clear right i'm sorry let's just remove this it's only let's write it like this since this has already moved here it's oc2h5 here also you have oc2 h5 right so water will leave right giving you this intermediate here you have this two lone pair of electrons on oxygen atom it's it will get transferred here it will move the lone pair will move forming a double bond right so when this lone pair will move it will now this oxygen atom would be deficient of electrons right so it will form oh plus oc2h5 right so this is what this is kind of this is kind of if you look at this ester right this is kind of protonated ester right like you have protonated acid so this is like a protonated ester right so now it will let me just drop this one right this is your protonated ester so it will lose this hydrogen or a proton it will lose this proton to form ester right ch3 coo c2h5 this one right so these are some three four steps that you need to understand for the formation of esters right mechanism of formation of esters let's look at once more time let's look at once more it's this is sulfuric acid which is a catalyst it will generate proton this proton will attack the carboxylic acid to form protonated acid
right it has a it has a double bond and a positive charge this positive charge has come from this proton now in another step in the next step you have alcohol now alcohol will attack this protonated acid right because it has a lone pair of electrons through this lone pair of electron it will attack this carbon to form this tetrahedral intermediate because tetrahedral intermediates are unstable so what will happen is it will this hydrogen atom of tetrahedral intermediate will move here to form this compound right now this this water is a better leaving group so it will leave this molecule forming this remaining is this right now here oxygen has two lone pair of electrons it will move and will form a double bond right so this is like a protonated ester right so in from this protonated ester hydrogen or a proton will leave right to give you this ester right now let's look at the factors on which this esterification depends right or right. the factors that affect the rate of esterification factors that factors affecting rate of esterification first thing that can affect the rate of esterification is is it's like r c o o h right plus r dash say o h this is the reaction right so r it will form r c o o r dash plus water this is your ester right so this formation of this ester is affected by steric hindrance right by these steric hindrance or by these bulky alkyl groups right as the size of these alkyl groups will increase the rate of esterification will come down right for example if in place of acid you take formic acid the rate of esterification would be very high because it does not contain a bulky alkyl group it contains small pro, uh, hydrogen atom right now if you look at this if you look at this step actually this alcohol is attacking this protonated acid this protonated acid contains this alkyl group and this alcohol molecule is also attacking this along with this alkyl group right so it is these alkyl groups that affect this step right because if these alkyl groups are bigger more bulkier the attack of this alcohol on this protonated acid will become difficult right so bigger are these groups slower would be the rate of esterification right so this will have high rate of esterification right then comes your ch3 coo h right then you have ch3 ch2 coo h Right. this alkyl group c2h5 ethyl group is bigger than methyl group so rate of esterification with this acid would be slower now if i take if i take ch3 ch cooh or if i take ch3 whole thrice c cooh rate of esterification with this would be slowest right why because you have a bigger alkyl group ch3 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 right this is the biggest alkyl group so when this reaction will take place right this the this is this will offer maximum steric hindrance that is crowding right in the reaction so when you when there is maximum steric hindrance or crowding the rate of reaction will go down right because attack of molecules or reaction of molecules will become difficult right due to bigger size of the alkyl groups right this is the biggest alkyl group this is the smallest alkyl group methyl and it has no alkyl group 
right? So this is smaller. So rate of esterification with this would be higher compared to this. Rate of esterification with formic acid would be more higher, right? Because it has no alkali group. Now looking at like looking at um, alcohol now, because alcohol is attacking this protonated acid along with this alkyl group. So as the size of this alkyl group will increase, the rate of esterification will go down, right? Because due to more crowding, the attack of alcohol molecule on this protonated acid will become more difficult, right? So at, uh, looking at alkyl groups, CH3OH, right? This has smaller alkyl group, CH3, CH2OH, right? Then comes your CH3 whole twice CHOH, then comes your CH3 whole thrice COH, right? This has the biggest alkyl group, right? Like this. So, attack with this alcohol molecule will offer maximum crowding or maximum steric hindrance. So, so rate of esterification with this alcohol molecule will result into slow esterification, right? This will result into slow rate of reaction due to due to maximum steric hindrance right i hope this is clear now aliphatic acid and alcohol right would be affected by steric hindrance right Rate of esterification with aliphatic acid and alcohol would be affected by steric hindrance offered by alkyl groups. As the size of the alkyl groups would increase, the rate of esterification will increase, uh, decrease. I'm sorry. Yeah, because here, since these molecules are attacking along with these alkyl groups, so this attack would become more difficult as the crowding will increase due to alkyl groups. Right. Now, if you look at um, carb or look at um, aromatic acids. Right. In case of aromatic acids, with this, rate of esterification would be maximum. When there is no substituent, when there is no substituent, right, the rate of reaction would be maximum. Right. Now, if you have a substituent like this, Right? at ortho position when you have substituent at ortho position rate of esterification will go down right similarly rate of esterification would be minimum with this right with this compound why because you have two alkyl groups which will give maximum steric hindrance right so this is your 2 6 2,6-dimethyl benzoic acid, right? 2-methyl benzoic acid. This is benzoic acid. So rate of esterification would be maximum with benzoic acid. Then if you have a substituent at ortho position, the rate of esterification will go down, right? And if you have two substituents, the rate of esterification will again go down. Right? So rate of esterification would be minimum with 2,6-dimethyl benzoic acid right? and maximum with benzoic acid because it has no sub substituent at ortho position. So when you have no substituent at ortho position, right? no substituent means minimum steric hindrance. Right? You have no extra alkyl group. So as the number of these substituents will increase, it offers more crowding. Right? So your rate of esterification will go down. Right? I hope all this is clear. Thanks.